my god. Oh my god. god. You just no, no, no. That. no. You give me New York vibes. You give me like. Like model vibes. Thank wow. you. <laughs> What's wrong with New York fashion, Lene? Yeah. I am everything fashion. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome guys, this is Latina Diaries. My name is Lizette and this is my two-week trip in Mexico, starting from Tonala. This is a town to get your furniture, frames for the house, decor, home decor, statues, ollas, you name it, and all at an affordable price. There are vendors everywhere selling from spoons to tortas, frutas, tejuinos, sandals, chairs everything so it's a pretty busy town so careful with your surroundings and um, people can pickpocket and it's just it's kind of sketchy there so i never brought my camera everything's from phone I'm not taking my chances um so we always stop here to get any home decor or get anything that our friends and family want like mugs or frames for their living room and there are beautiful pieces here so i know where to get my furniture when i get my own room and it's gonna happen so we went to this small place here and that I never been to and these escalators were there so I just wanted to see what was up there and it just turned out to be a restaurant like with the basic menu but we didn't go there we decided to go to Mariscos um, this restaurant was really cute and easy uh, you can just sit down yourself no wait the menu looked really good I have never seen mango on sushi before but I was interesting I just got ceviche, which was delicious, and dessert, I got gorditas, they're like little cute mini pancakes. After walking and getting what we needed, we stopped at this shop, as you can see. They sell really big statues of the nativity scene, and right next to it was this big Kentucky Fried Chicken I've seen everywhere in Mexico. I've never seen that over here. But um, not only do they sell big sets of them, they also sell mini sets of them, and they're really cute, like the little sheep and everything. And have many different versions of versions of Virgin Mary, the Three Kings, um, Jesus, frames of the Last Supper, and they're very detail oriented. Like this baby Jesus here, they really had it really had big eyelashes, which I've never seen on on a statue. But yeah, that was typically our day at Tonala. This pueblo is where we stay. This is where my parents grew up and basically the rest of my family. And this very street was where my dad first saw my mom. He was walking down the street with his cousin, minding his own business. And my mom was standing there at the yellow garage that's open right there. And he looked at her and literally fell for her, like figuratively and literally he tripped when he saw her. But that was funny, but my mom didn't like him at first, but magically they started dating and the rest is history. And this town has a lot of history, dating back to like the 1930s, 20s or something like that. And so I bet there's many stories to tell. Um, we have the plaza here where everyone hangs out after Sunday mass. A few vendors would set up to sell ice cream, olote, and much more. A large gatherings also occur here and banda would play on stage. Um, the plaza becomes very lively during the fiestas in October and the holidays where they put up lights at night and it's super cute. Um, that's where the priest lives in that little house and the stage is where the banda would play. And then this church is actually where my parents got married. And another fun fact is that my great grandpa donated the tile floor to the church in memory of my grandpa, so his son. And there's even a plaque inside which I thought was interesting um and this chapel is really really pretty um it used to be run down like everything was falling apart last time i been there but they completely renovated it so it looks way better now and next to it is a little virgencita room and it's th this is completely new i don't think anything was back here um but yeah it was really really cute and that's me and my prima just walking around looking cute <laughs> And to be honest, the weather was so much nice here. Meanwhile, California was foggy and rainy during that time. But I, I loved the weather here, it was perfect. 
and at every corner there's a snack shop and the snacks here hit different there's so many fire fire the i can't even talk right now there's just so many flavors and that we don't really have access to here for example chokies are like chips ahoy 2.0 um there's candelitos uh, saladitas um a lot more cookies i've never seen before um the chi don't get me started with the chips i love the chips there and on the everything here just tastes much more richer and um it's really hard to pick out too i spent like 10 minutes i don't know what to choose but i got these um chetos torcititos they tasted like seasoned cheetos really good Today we walked up here to the campo or the soccer field. My dad used to play here as part of the town's team and that's my dad having his main character moment, you know, having his flashbacks. <laughs> he was telling me about the memories he would have here and, and that he actually won the championships here. Um, this little room is like a locker room, I guess, where the players, you know, talk about game plans, have their break or whatever. And yeah, like I said, my dad and his team actually won the championships here. My grandpa was the head coach and pretty much led them to victory. One year, they paid tribute to my grandpa, appreciating his hard work and commitment at the Cascaritas. And the Cascaritas is an annual event. It's a soccer tournament where people would just sign up to play for fun. And they would group them by age. They also sell food there, snacks, and banda would also play on the sidelines. So it's, it's pretty fun, really fun to watch. Next to the campo, there's the cemetery. Um, we always come here to visit our relatives. And during the Dia de los Muertos, people would decorate the cemetery and leave ofrendas. Um, on this trip, I've seen a family have a carne asada and they sang the mañanitas to their loved ones, which that was the first, and I've never seen that, which was interesting. Um, another thing that happened here a long time ago was that my sister and I were just walking around and suddenly we heard a girl laugh and we just thought it was some actual little girl just randomly playing outside or whatever but we looked around and we were alone which was weird but hey it's a cemetery anything we hear is automatically suspicious but i did ask my cousin if she believed in spirit it's mental too o sea hay cosas que son mentales pero hay cosas que sí suceden sí hay más de que o sea si te crees en dios tienes que creer en la vida y la muerte no Tienes que tener, creer en todo ese tipo de cosas. Y ciertamente hay espíritus y todo lo que tú quieras que sentir. O sea, pasa totalmente. Entonces, si, si también eliges creer, entonces también te mentalizas. So basically, well, can you talk? So basically, she said she wouldn't be surprised if there are spirits here. I mean, we're in the cemetery. Souls can be walking around, mind their own business. We can hear every little thing and we just automatically think it's something's there. But I've heard other things about this pueblo too. Um, basically, in one of these streets, um, it was a particular street, if we hear a horse walking and chains dragging, that's a spirit. I don't know if it's good or bad, but just know that's a spirit looking around. Another rumor I heard about is that this pueblo is founded by or used to be filled with witches. Since the mascot of this town is an owl, um, an owl is often associated with witchcraft, so... There were rumors that witches used to be here and practice their craft. We asked if there are witches around here. Um, my cousin said it was just a rumor, but don't be surprised if there is one here. And honestly, this pueblo is very, very old, so there's gotta be that one strange per person living in the, the corner of the street or something. But I don't remember if my cousin told me if there is actually one. So I guess we'll never know. <laughs> On to a brighter note, we got to see a pyri pyramid a parade of people would decorate their trucks and have kids dress up. They would throw candy, pelotas, toys, and I think this is an annual thing, so the community just gets together and celebrate the holiday feeling. And music was on blast. Um, there was even a small group on top of it, not on top of the truck, but behind the truck, it was pretty cool. <laughs> When I saw them, I was like dying. 
of their cuteness. They're so cute. And also they would pour um, shots out to the crowd to get everybody lit and everybody happy, getting that holiday feeling. Um, so the parade led to the plaza where everyone would just meet up and enjoy the night. And here we had really bomb food for dinner. It was around the courtyard and um, they had tacos, they had sopes, fruit tarts, muffins, candies. I got a tole, a to that was the best tole I ever had. Um, tostadas as well, popcorn. I had a little bit of everything and it was really, really good. Um, 10 out of 10. And then we would also wait for a banda, which happened around 9 p.m. And then we ended the day seeing the fireworks. So this town is literally 10 minutes away from Santa Cruz. I've been here many, many times. And my family and I were out just doing errands. I needed coffee. I'm a coffee addict, and so is my sister, and we got really good coffee and pastries from a new cafe called Rosalina's, and I am obsessed. It's a really cute vintage cafe, um, and it was literally 10 out of 10. I was satisfied. Um, then this is the church, nicely decorated for the holidays. And down the street, there's a small bakery, and you just go in, grab a tray, and pick out any pan dulce you want. And they had a little bit of everything from conchas, empanadas, muffins, cookies. And I was literally salivating. I just, I wanted it all. It looked so good. Um, and next to this room was the oven. So it's similar to, similar to a pizza oven where the bakers would just slide in the bread to bake. Christmas Eve and I got my new haircut and I'm really feeling myself. It was the best haircut I've ever received and all for $16. Yo, so what you wearing? Clothes. Okay. She's wearing Versace head to toe. Oh, period. No, okay, no. This amount of gaming, my gaming to gaming. Yeah. These are Levi's. Nice. What about you? Show off your fit. This is from Marshalls. This is probably from Marshalls. These are from North Carolina. This, I don't know. We love a baddie on a boot. Oh, wait, hold up. A baddie on a budget. <laughs> and that's my grandma's Christmas tree. Super cute. They helped her with um, decorating it. And that's her little nativity scene. Um, and then that's my cousin's B-Day flowers sent from her mom. That's my cousin. And that's me and my sister. People say we look like, but honestly, don't see it. Um, anyways, it's dinner time and we're having champorado and tamales and I don't eat tamales here in California. I don't like them. I only eat them in Mexico. It, they're just way more different, way more flavorful and I just love it. Um, so I ate good, good that night and that's me when I see food. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's my, oh, well, what we ate for dinner, champorado and tamales. I think I ate two. And they were thick and yeah and then here comes the entertainment oh they do like this two three three two three okay 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 let's do the first three how one arm goes with what shit this one this you're right with the right one two oh we're making the one two three Christmas and check my fit and look at this setup. We read like we're ready to eat and then we have a dessert table You have candy apples, but instead of caramel, it's tamarindo candies cookies muffins more cookies. I don't know what that is, but it was really good 
And then we have our food here. And then we have cornitos, really bomb cornitos. Um, and that's what we have was pasta, some vegetables, lomo, chicken. And a lady did, did that for us, it was really good. That's my cousin. And that's my other cute cousin. And honestly, I think, I think we're a pretty chill family. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos. 